Hey everyone, so I wanted to follow up with um, the changing of the guard thing that I had shared a couple of weeks ago. Um, up until last night, I uh, hadn't really received anything and was actually just kind of asking God, you know, was that really all that there was to it? Even though I just kind of felt, you know, deep in my spirit that there was maybe something a little bit more to go with it. Um, so last night as I was kind of drifting off to sleep, I just had this vision and um, so I wanted to share that with you and just kind of talk about a couple of things. Um, what the vision was, um, it was real similar to that of a wedding, um, but military style, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, it was like, you know, these doors just like, these doors just wide open, you know, they just opened up wide. And instead of like a f little flower girl like coming in and dropping petals everywhere, it was, you know, this um, militant type march, but they were just these huge um, angelic type soldiers. And they kind of came in and then they just lined the, the aisle, the aisleway, you know, and and they just kind of like, they all just like stopped and like turned and looked toward the door. And then all of a sudden coming out were just like ordinary, ordinary um, people. I mean, no, um, you know, no uh, suits of armor or anything like that. It was just these, these people. And, and a lot of them were um, walking very confidently. Um, not in an arrogant way, just very confident in where they were at, walking forward. Um, and then others were a little bit hesitant, but still, you know, knowing that this is where they're supposed to be. And then there were some that were just kind of like heads down and, you know, they're still walking, but it was almost like I could like hear their doubts. I could see the doubt on their face, but they were still walking forward in obedience. And as I watched all these people walk down this aisle in the midst of these huge um, soldier angels, um, you know, the people looked very dwarf-like, you know, just very small in comparison, but they had the attention of these soldiers. And so what I felt was being said up to, at, at that moment, was the changing of the guard is these people, us, the church, we are coming in and we have heaven's attention. We have its attention and this whole new level of heaven is coming down and resting on us and looking to us to manifest heaven here on earth. That's what I felt and I just heard those words just kind of booming through my spirit and then as I kept looking at these people walking all of a sudden I saw at their feet what I call like glory fire it was this it was these flames like all along the all around their feet and it's almost as though their feet weren't even touching the ground it's like they were walking on these flames um, but the flames weren't from anything else other than this glory they were walking in glory and my even the ones in confidence and the ones in doubt. They were still walking forward in obedience. And so I just wanted to encourage you that this new ushering in of this new thing, we, this new thing, I really feel like, um, it, it's, it's this whole new level of heaven that we are to be manifesting and in a kind of roundabout way, this was kind of confirmed to me through a, real, a rather dramatic event that happened this past Friday. I'll share that in a minute. Um, but in order to manifest this new thing, to grab a hold of this new thing, we've got to be watching with our eyes and we've got to be listening with our ears. Um, now this thing that happened to me on Friday, and like I said, it was rather dramatic and and it was kind of scary, but 
um, but as I look at it, it was just kind of like, wow, you know, okay, I didn't need to have my attention got to me, you know, brought to me that way. But um, basically what it was, I was on my way home and I had this like flash of a vision in front of me. Um, it was just very instantaneously, but what the picture of this vision was, was a picture of an intersection that was, you know, down the road from where I was heading but what I saw was a car um, sitting, you know, horizontally in front of my vertical lane. And I had that prompting in my spirit to let off the accelerator. And so I had started slowing down, which is really not in my nature. I'm a bit of a lead foot. Um, and I, I tend to drive a little fast. Sorry. Um, but I, I just... I, you know, with the vision and that prompting to let my foot off the accelerator, I did it. And as I came up over the hill, where this intersection was, sure enough, there was a car right in front of me. This car had pulled out and of course I had to slam on my brakes. And had I not already slowed down, I still would have hit this car. Um, but instead, you know, I came like that close, did not hit. My story is much different. Um, and I say all that to say, not for the drama of it all, but I just feel like little things like that is what this new level is all about. It's listening to those promptings and then acting. And it doesn't have to be something dramatic like avoiding a car accident. It's, um, you know, seeing somebody in the grocery store and having that prompting of go ask that person how they're doing they might need prayer they might need encouragement something like that it's that instant prompt you know that prompting and obedience um, that's going to allow you to manifest this new level of heaven here on earth it's setting aside your you know own insecurities which is something I deal with on a daily basis. I mean, hello, I'm doing a video. I hate being on camera, but this is just too much to even try to write. And I just know that I know that the Lord wanted me to do this, so I'm doing it despite how I feel, how I want to do things, um, because I want to manifest this new level of heaven. I want my eyes open. I want my ears open. I want more, and I want more for you. So I want to leave it with this. I want to just tell you that some things that I heard last night as I was drifting off to sleep was that picture of those people walking. There were those that seemed to have, you know, the confidence in who they were and where they were going and what they were doing. That's cool, you know. I think we all want to reach that point and I think even those people still have doubts. Um there were some that were pretty sure, but, you know, still waffling, you know, you remember. And then the ones with the doubts. And the ones with the doubts are what stood out to me the most, is they were still walking on that glory fire. They were still carrying the glory. They were still ushering in, walking in, in this new thing, despite their doubts. And that's what God wants to say. I don't see your doubts. I see your heart. And that is what is crying out to him. And that is his response. Call on to me and I will answer you. He doesn't hear your thoughts. I mean, he hears your thoughts. He knows your thoughts. He hears the doubts. But he doesn't respond to the doubts. He responds to the cry of your heart. And the cry of your heart is to move forward, to move higher into all the things that he has for you. You have a purpose on your life that no one else can fulfill. You have breath in your lungs, you have purpose, I promise you. And even though there are other people out there doing some things that you feel called to do, they do not have your flavor. They do not have, they're not doing it the way you will do it. Although it may seem or feel or look familiar, you are still unique enough to have that call on your life to step out and do it. So I want to encourage you to do that despite the doubts because the Lord doesn't respond to your doubts, he responds to your heart. And that is why those people were walking in that glory fire. They were carrying the glory despite their doubts because he knows their hearts. Okay, so I just wanted to encourage you. I cannot wait to see all the things that are happening this month. I know we're still very early in the month 
but there's just this excitement in my spirit and I just it, it's like I just want to jump up and run down run around all over the place which is totally not my personality I'm very just chilled and laid back but this month just has me just so like ah just awesome okay I love you have an amazing day I cannot wait to see what God does with you love you